All right, let's do a quick run through of week seven homework number five question. So this was different because we had a t times a y double prime and a t times a y prime. I used a hint in the homework to say, hey, use q from the Laplace sheet. So when we do that, then we get that we're going to have to take the derivative with respect to s of the Laplace transform of whatever it is that t is multiplying, or t squared or t to the third, but in this case they were always t. So t to the first means that we're going to multiply that um, Laplace transform, that derivative, by negative 1 to the first power times the derivative with respect to s of whatever the Laplace transform of y double prime is. We'll do the same thing with the next term. We're going to have negative 1 to the 1 power again because we have t to the first times the Laplace transform, well, excuse me, times the derivative with respect to x of the Laplace transform of y prime. So our next step is to, well, figure out what the Laplace transform of y double prime and y prime are, and that's right here. And now we're going to take the derivative of that with respect to s. Now we're going to have to remember both the chain rule and implicit differentiation from probably calc 1. So once we have that, and we rearrange our terms, and we group our y prime together and our y together, then we can look at this, and even though this is in terms of s, this is just a first order linear differential equation. So we'll put it in standard form by dividing both sides by whatever the multiple is in front of the y s prime. And then we will, well, there's a lot of nice simplification here, and we get it down to a pretty simple differential equation. y prime plus 2 over s y equals 3 over s squared. We find our integration factor, and then we go ahead and solve this linear differential equation. And we find that ys is equal to 3 over s plus c over s squared. And if we do the inverse Laplace transform of that, we get that y of t is 3 plus ct. Now, this is odd because we actually have to figure out what c is. y0 wouldn't help because, well, t is 0 and c times 0 is 0. So in order to get c, we're going to have to take the derivative of that and then plug in y prime of 0. And that will give us the value for c. And that's how we end up with our final value of yt equals negative 6t plus 3.